Hello Internet, this is Scott with Scott's Garage and I just got done putting together a portable cement mixer that I purchased on Amazon for $261.99 uh, currently. It's called Sun Co O. Uh, so Sun and then these are actually two O's and this is a little wrench in between. They have a couple different sizes. This is the big one for the you know, portable mixers. This is the five cubic foot barrel with the four-fifths horsepower motor. It can turn at 2,800 RPM. And I purchased, uh, again, on Amazon for $261.99 uh, currently. Now, I have a lot of projects I'll be using this for, uh, but this was simply out of the box. And the four to five stars on Amazon, the negative reviews were that it was impossible to put together, very difficult to put together. I didn't find that at all. It was a piece of cake for me. It took me about a half an hour. Absolutely no problem putting this uh, together. Simply follow the directions. They, they print it out uh, just you know step by step, just looking at it, and it comes with the bolts and the, the nuts and you know washers and stuff. And again, it was it was quite simple uh, to do this. Uh, the tools that came with it are rather primitive. You can see them there. I used my own. So basically, 14 millimeter and 13 millimeter were the main uh, sizes for this. Uh, also, when you put the, the top part, the bottom part, make sure you line up the two arrows. I didn't do that at first. Uh, it's, it's important to do that because that's how the, you know, what I call those, the paddles um, fit correctly. Uh, you have to have these arrows lined up. Something else used in my own was this little pick. So when you take, the, the, it comes with the top part of the barrel, obviously not attached to the bottom part. And there's a rubber gasket. Uh, you can see it here on the inside. That's a rubber gasket. And there, there's the screws are like on just the bottom part lined up. So you have to take those off, and then you put the, the top part of the barrel on, and then put the the screws in, in place or the bolts in place. But I used this; it was quite handy uh, when I put it in place, just to make sure that the holes were lined up correctly for that rubber gasket. Uh, it helped out considerably. Something else about this: uh, there was a negative review that said that. It came damaged or you know wasn't uh, built correctly. Uh, that's not my experience. Everything looks great. I, I see no damaged uh, parts. Uh, paint job looks good. It was well packaged. Uh, even some of the, the the sharper points like the the shaft for the motor, uh, it came with this on it. So to square up the box. So I actually was very impressed with packaging, and no complaints uh, from my end. Okay, here are some of the features of, of this mixer. It's high enough so you can pour into a, a wheelbarrow. It's, uh, it's, it's quite sturdy. Uh, also, it's meant to tip uh, basically 360 degrees is what it advertises. And you can see that there's a, there's a spring on here and it's, it's locked in place. So you know, picture that spinning. I'll turn it on here in a second. You know, it's not gonna go anywhere. But say you're, you're, you mix the, the, the concrete and you're ready to, to pour it. Um, then uh, what you do is you simply uh, push down on this, it unlocks it, uh, and then you, you can turn this. So it'll be spinning as you turn it um, either side. It's easy uh, to turn. It won't be as easy once the mix is in there. And then um, it, it locks in place again. Um, you'll see it's stepped all the way, um, comes out, and you want to put it back up. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a nice feature. So let's turn it on for the very first time. Here's the on switch here. There's also a reset button there. Not too quiet. See if this works. Alright, so I'm looking forward to using this. I have a project uh, ceiling below and pouring a, a pad in our backyard and some other projects as well. So I'm looking forward again to utilizing this uh, to the fullest. Uh, if you're interested in this, please see the link below, the Amazon link. Hey, if you liked the video, please hit like. If you have not subscribed to Scott's Garage, uh, please uh, do so. It costs you nothing, but it's of great value to me. 
Now, please also see the other links once uh, once they're done for the projects that I'm using this mixer for. And as always, have a great day.